In 2017, Stephanie Butari took a big leap to paint big, joining her husband Adam on a path of artistic and design exploration to make ideas happen. Her large-scale murals, often featuring vibrant palettes and geometric shapes, have been commissioned for dozens of public and commercial spaces throughout Waterloo Region. Inspired by the ways in which color and scale transform the perception of space, Butari's work is refining her relationship between art and architecture. Uh, Mrs. Smart. She was like my favorite teacher in the world. She encouraged everyone to just do their own thing. And she'd like see what you're passionate about and let you push it to the max. Most of us had these small sketchbooks but she could tell from my working style that I would suit a larger sketchbook. So I went from like an A4 to an A0. <laughs> she was like, I think you need to go big. You, you'd work better at a big scale. And it's so funny, it's like premonition. Like, <laughs> she knew. <laughs> um, I'm Stephanie Butari. Um, I'm an artist based in Kitchener, Waterloo Region. Um, um, I mostly paint murals, uh, large scale, small scale, inside, outside, um, all kinds of clients. I've been painting, I was obsessed with art my whole life. Like, my favorite thing to do ever was draw. And my whole identity in school was like, that artist person, like I was carried around this giant sketchbook, I'd skip a class to just do more art, like I was obsessed. Once the design is all resolved um, and good to go, it's just about getting my supplies in order, um, getting everything out the door. It's actually really handy having a shop space versus um, a regular artist studio space. In some cases, uh, my husband Adam will help me as well, carrying big heavy equipment or uh, uh, if, it, if the ladder, you know, if the extension ladder is much too heavy for me to carry, so in some cases if I'm not using a lift, I'm using a ladder, he'll help me out. We usually have our own jobs. We found that sometimes it's best that every project has its own leader, and then the other person will help yeah, out, absolutely. rather than both of us trying to be in charge of the same project. That doesn't work very well, does yeah, it? Yeah, so, um, <laughs> so sometimes I'll offer a helping hand with his stuff, if he's fabricating something, or um, he'll help me out with mural painting, you know, as my assistant. Um, and then sometimes we end up working for the same client, because usually where they want a mural, they need other stuff, they're like opening a new space. Um, like, I remember I did a mural at Matter of Taste in Waterloo. Uh, they also needed some furniture, so I sort of brought in Adam on that and I said, hey, and then I sort of designed the, these benches and then picked out the fabric and then stenciled this pattern on the back and then he built it. Adam often cuts out panels for me for when I get commissioned paintings. And he has here a CNC machine, which can literally cut out any shape you tell it to. So recently, this is where I cut those bird profiles out of. Um, we cut them out of this uh, aluminum composite material so that it could last outside. So these were my initial sketches. Um, and I was like trying to play around with ideas for how it could be composed on the building. Then I, I took these drawings of the birds and then I referenced photographs and then I drew them in more detail with my pencil, Apple Pencil, uh, here on the computer. And then I copy pasted them onto a photograph of the building and then basically drew on top of the photo this colored composition. I knew that I wouldn't be able to do this kind of fine detail on that really textured wall, so I purposely kept the backdrop simple and then have the, the birds kind of catch your eye, looking like they're interacting with the objects in the background. In architecture school, they don't really talk about color. They don't, everything's all these pristine white architectural models. Um, and I just, I wanted to use pink, like, you know, so I found that this was a way to bridge my two interests. Um, and then later it just kind of evolved beyond that. I just thought it was fascinating, like, or a space or even just a 3D object, how the way it's colored 
or you know the shapes you paint on it can all of a sudden mess with how you perceive it um, whether your your perception of the form has changed or uh, how if it's inside a space the walls can feel like they're closer to each other or that they're moving like there's so many interesting effects that just the paint can do the one with the fish I really enjoyed working on it because it was different for me, like doing more freehand stuff versus like the pure geometric. It was freeing. Like sometimes I don't want to use tape, um, and I've never used spray paint in that way before. Like you know, to do figurative things like the fish and the flowers, I'd always used it for gradients and just taped segments. So this was a new challenge. So in a way, that was one of my favorite pieces or like my highlights of last summer and the region. She also got support from Arts Fund for that project. Yeah, and that was so huge was for me. I'd never that, done that either. Great to yeah. feel that the region and the, the area actually supports art that mm -hmm. way too. So yeah. that was a big bonus. Yeah. I feel like my favorite part is when a mural is done, especially if I leave it for like a day and then come back and I'm like, wow, like, I did this, you know, because sometimes I'm so wrapped up in it and I'm right up next to the wall for like hours and then I step back and it's done and it just feels so personally like rewarding. I mean, I do enjoy the process of painting it and designing it, but sometimes kind of up and down, but usually when it's over at the end and I'm happy with it, that's like no matter which mural, I'm usually <laughs> it's always a positive, so. I always do what I want to. At, I mean, to some extent, you know, there's the influence of the client. Um, and I find that a lot of my older work, you see that more, there's more of a variety. Um, but I'm hoping, you know, with time, my own signature style will evolve. But at the same time, I'm not trying to force it or limit myself to necessarily these colors. It's just what I'm drawn to right now. And I actually, I do enjoy, in a weird way, I like to purposely work in black and white sometimes uh, as a starting point and then bring in the color because I can get overwhelmed if I'm, if I'm interested in exploring a new form then or new shapes, then I'll just focus it on black and white and then I'll bring in the colors depending on what I'm doing.